Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Two years after country star Joey Feek's passing, her husband reveals difficult news. It seems like it was just yesterday that Rory Feek's life was turned upside down when the love of his life passed away after battling cancer. Before he could process what had just happened and how life would go on without Joey, he was faced with his next trial. Rory has always been a conservative Christian and that has helped him get through all of the hard times that he has faced but would his faith be enough this time to get him through this time? Recently, he shared that after her death he was faced with more difficult news and ultimately what he decided to do about it as a single father of three. According to Inspiring Day, after his wife passed away in March 2016, Rory Feek was now a single father with a toddler who had Down syndrome and an older daughter who just revealed big news. The conservative Christian country singer sat down in an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, to discuss his new book, Once Upon a Farm, Lessons in Growing Love, Life, and Hope on a New Frontier. His book hit the shelves on Tuesday or you can purchase it here on Amazon. Just days after his wife, Joey Feek, passed away, he said he knew something else was up with Hoppy. Hoppy and Heidi are from a previous relationship, while Indiana, his four-year-old daughter who has Down syndrome, was from his marriage with Joey. Famous country singer's daughter reveals she is gay, am I supposed to shun my child now? After his wife passed away in March 2016, Rory Feek was now a single father with a toddler who had Down syndrome and an older daughter who just revealed big news. The conservative Christian, country singer sat down in an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, to discuss his new book, Once Upon a Farm, Lessons in Growing Love, Life, and Hope on a New Frontier. His book hit the shelves on Tuesday or you can purchase it here on Amazon. Just days after his wife, Joey Feek, passed away, he said he knew something else was up with Hoppy. Hoppy and Heidi are from a previous relationship, while Indiana, his four-year-old daughter who has Down syndrome, was from his marriage with Joey. I said, just tell me, Hoppy, Rory said. And she went on to tell me that her friend Wendy was more than her friend, that Wendy and, she, had been dating for almost a year and that she was in love. Hoppy was worried her father would judge her and not love her anymore. But thankfully, Rory's faith in God kept him from doing so. And my first reaction, honestly, was I don't know, Rory explained. Because my conservative Christian faith that saved me, the first reaction is that challenges that immensely. He asked himself, am I supposed to shun my child now and say, no, you can't be in my life until you come around to thinking like I'm thinking? Hoppy said that she remembered her father's panic face, but understood why. While Rory was at a loss for words and did have a tough time accepting his daughter's sexuality, Rory knew what Jesus would want him to do, to love her. The only thing I try to keep in mind is it's her life, it's her choice, it's her faith, Rory explained. And my job is to love her even when it's hard. God asks us to love one another, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. In 1 Peter 4 8 it says, Above all, Love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. This is how we know what love is, Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters, it says in 1 John 3:16. Rory is an amazing example to his children and everyone around him for showing unconditional love regardless of your beliefs. He handled this whole situation with love and grace. Just like many Christian families do when they face similar situations, unlike how the left claims that Christians hate homosexuals. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.